Have you been wondering how you can get an aesthetic background for your YouTube videos? Maybe something like this, like this, or even like this. Well, if you have, you are in the right place. Now, when it comes to setting up backgrounds for your YouTube videos, first of all, you need time, you need money, and you need space. You may have the time and the money, but you may not have the space. But you may have the space the time but you may not have the money and having to change setups every time you want to do a video can be a huge stress and a huge hassle i work in nine to five and sometimes it can be really stressful now most times i just use any random background that i have be the walls like you are seeing right here and sometimes you just want to take it up a notch now if you don't have the time or the money or even the space available to set up a YouTube background, then this video is something you'll want to watch. So if you want to know how I go to change my background, let's get into it now. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your browser, either on your laptop, your mobile phone, or any device you have, and search for Leonardo AI. Now once you type in and search this, the first one that pops up is the one that you select. Now it's going to load up and it's going to show you where you can actually create an account. Once you select create an account, it's going to give you options on how you can do that. You can see the options available. Then you select the one that is suitable for you or the one that you want. I selected the Gmail because it's going to be very easy. Now, once you do that, it's going to load up and it's going to take you to the welcome page. Now you select your username. I did that already. And it's going to tell you or ask you to select your interest. Now you can select just one or select multiple as it applies to you. So I will do that now. Selected education, stock images, and arts. Now, once you're done selecting what you want, you have to also click on confirming that you are over 18 years and then click on next. The page will load up and you'll be able to see images that have been generated by other users on the right. Now on the left side, you want to select image generation that's what we need at this point on the left side you can see some options where you have like number of images that's the number of images you wanted to generate for you at a go you see photo reel you see public images you see image dimensions and then you see advanced control where you can actually set the aspect ratio so once you select that you have the option of selecting what you want now because this is going to be used for a youtube video I choose 16 by 9. Now, once you're done doing that, you move over to the right side because this is where the action begins. So there's a place you see type a prompt. You must have written down what it is you want it to generate for you. You just type it there or you can copy and paste it if you wrote it down somewhere. And then you click on generate image. Now it's going to generate as many images as you have selected earlier. So based on my prompts, this is what Leonardo AI generated for me. I actually played around with it a while ago so I could see what and what it could bring up. And the images are really nice. They're really, really nice. And they look very realistic. So this is just to show what and what you can get with this. So once you're done, you can select the image that you, you want to use and just download it into your phone like I've already done. So once you're done, you head over to your editing app. In my case, I'm making use of CapCut and I'm using my phone. So I head over to CapCut and I select it. I click on new project. Now I upload the image that is the image I want to use as the background onto CapCut. And I then drag this to as long as I want the video to be or as long as my overlaid video will be. So I go back to the beginning. And what I'll do next is to add an overlay of my video. So I already have a recorded video. I select this and then upload it onto CapCut. I adjust the video so that it fits the screen completely. You want to make sure that the background of your video isn't busy. This is very important so that you can end up with a very good outcome. The next thing you want to do is select the overlaid video and scroll all the way to remove background. Choose auto removal and CapCut is going to gradually remove the background of your video. You can see there's a countdown in percent. It's showing 1%, 2%, and it's going to do this until you get up to 100%.
But you can see that even with that, the video is actually quite clear. Listen to this. Have you ever coughed and noticed that there was something that came out from your cough, something whitish to yellowish in color and had a really nasty smell? If you have, you had a tonsil stone. Tonsil stones are actually quite common and they are a very common cause of bad breath. I'm Dr. Nair and in today's video, I'll be talking about tonsil stones, some possible causes and how you So with the image you've selected, you can actually leave this as it is. But if you want to have like a blurry effect, you have to go down and select background. And then you get to choose the blurriness you want. Now I've selected what I want. Now once you do that, you go select the background itself. Scroll all the way to opacity. Now once you get to opacity, you can then adjust the blurriness of the background. Now you can play around with this until you get something that you really, really like. So that's what I'm doing right now, trying to see how it looks. Now, you see that if you go all the way to one end, you have something much more distinct. And if you go all the way to the other end, you have more of a blur. So once you're done selecting or choosing what you want, the next thing you may want to do is probably some color grading. So you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, the shadows, you know, just play around with it so that I can get um, a much more realistic or natural look so that it doesn't look thick, you know, if you get what I mean. So once you're done playing around with this, if you're really good at this, you can actually do something quite nice with it. So this is just me playing around with it just to show you what you can do. Now, once you're done with that, you can see how the video looks. Some of the films, also known as concealer looks, as a consistent right, are calcified deposits of food debris and bacteria that form within the crypts of the tonsil. So once you're done and you like the outcome of the video, the next thing you want to do is to export it. But before you do that, you can actually change the resolution between 1080p and 4K. Now, if you go up to 4K, the size of the video is going to be quite larger. So you choose the one you want. And then once you're done with that, you click on export. Now, I've already exported this, so I don't really need to have another copy on my phone. Now, once the video is done exporting, it's going to be saved into your phone or photo gallery. So you can see that it's really easy to set up your YouTube backgrounds. You don't have to think about how much you have to spend, the gadgets you have to buy, the space you need to have. All those are in the past. So this is how you can set up your YouTube backgrounds without breaking a bank. With the Renato AI, the options are limitless. Now, what I used was just the free version. And you saw how many images that I was able to generate. And I still had a whole lot of points left. So you don't need to actually sign up for the paid version. The free version can give you all that you need. So there you have it. Setting up your YouTube background has never been this easy. With Leonardo AI, you can do a whole lot more. If this video was helpful to you, you can give a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.